Tonight at 6, one of the brothers in the now viral Rock Hill arrest speaking to us for the first time. When police were arresting Travis Price and his brother Ricky, a witness recorded and posted that interaction on Facebook Live. That video sparking three days of protests with people accusing the officers of using excessive force. Right now, Ricky Price is still in custody on drug and gun charges. Meantime, Travis Price was charged with hindering police and is now out on bond. Today, with his attorneys by his side, he spoke for the first time since all of this happened. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Esquiva was at the news conference. She joins us live in Rock Hill. Uh, Indira, what did Travis Price say? Fred, Travis Price wants his name cleared. In fact, his attorneys demanded that the charge against him be dropped today by 5 p.m. Rock Hill Police responded to that just a few minutes ago, saying basically it's not happening. Well, attorneys for Travis Price say that means they will fight this in court. I'm hurt that this happened, and um, I just really want my dignity back. This is the video posted on Facebook. It appears to show officers pushing Travis Price in the green shirt against a propane tank and punching Ricky Price. This is the surveillance footage released today. Because there was also an attempt by law enforcement to conflate Ricky and Travis. Attorneys show SLED records as proof that Travis Price had no criminal record prior to this. Rock Hill Police called his brother Ricky Price a known drug offender and said they pulled him over for traffic violations. Police say they found a pistol, marijuana and cocaine. Attorney Justin Bamberg says his brother Travis Price saw him getting arrested and came over to pick up his belongings. Travis's team says they got this security video from the convenience store outside of where this happened. They also say it shows Travis following officers' commands and still later being choked by police. I'm still sore, I'm still in pain, you know. Officers paint a different narrative, calling Travis belligerent, shoving police officers, and refusing to comply with orders. The security footage and the Facebook Live video are from different vantage points, but in both videos, there are things happening off camera that can't be seen or heard. The final piece to this puzzle could be body cam footage, which has yet to be released to the public. The people up top in these agencies have to start paying more attention. If you got guys who are just scared of black guys, they don't need to be in a uniform, man. We received a response from the Rock Hill Police Department about 20 minutes ago, and I'm going to read it from my phone to make sure I get this right. It said, this is an ongoing investigation, and SLED has asked no videos be released for viewing until agents finish interviewing witnesses, and Rock Hill Police are honoring that request. Now, on our website, we will post the full surveillance video that was shared with us today. Live in Rock Hill, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte. And with that, we know the body cam video, the missing link here. And dear, thank you for your reporting.